Hey guys, it's James George with Creative Beacon, and this week I'm going to show you how to outline your text with a neon uh, glow effect. Uh, this is really uh, easy to do in Photoshop, and you'll pick up some interesting tips along the way. So let's get started. I've created a, uh, a canvas with a black background, and I uh, create a new layer with text. And uh, the font that I'm using is Lecker Lie 1. And I've got it pretty big, but you can just size it however you want for your canvas. Uh, you can increase the size. And so you have your, your text here, but what if you wanted this to be outlined with a neon glow effect? You can do that easily in Photoshop, but uh, it, there's a little bit of a trick to it. And I'll show you that here. So uh, you have your text layer. If you uh, right click on it and say convert to shape. Now it's a shape. It's essentially a path. If you go into your paths you could see welcome path shape. And so you can you know make copies of it or do you know whatever you want to with it. But once you have made that shape, this is a shape layer, and you're not going to be able to do the effect on the actual shape layer. You need to make a new layer above. But when you, uh, going back to the shape layer, you want to make sure there's no fill or stroke. The way that you do this is you go and make sure that the uh, path is selected, and then you can go up and choose no fill. You want to make sure you're on the new paths or the uh, new layer here. But if you switch to that, the paths will become deselected. And so if you go to paths and double click, you can create a copy. And so then you just go back to your layers panel and you can select the new layer and you'll still have the paths selected. And so now you can only see the uh, path copy. From here, uh, click your brush uh, icon in the tools panel, and then you want to go up to the brush section and make sure that you select a soft brush with zero hardness, and you want to make the size maybe about five pixels. So with your path selected, and a small soft edge brush selected. In your paths panel, go back over here and click this button here, which is stroke path with brush. And so you get a soft outline of the text. So if you deselect that, uh, the path, this is what you have. And so you have that on your own, you can hide the shape layer because now we're going to focus on uh, layer styles for our text. Double click this and you want to go to outer glow and inner glow. So, first we're going to do an inner glow and we're going to do a white, a solid white. Maybe, maybe we'll do a, a color because it shows up better. Uh, it does a nice combination. So let's do maybe a uh, hot pink. You want to change the blend mode to hard light. You want to lower the size. If you can see, the what happens is, you know, before it was almost filled, but if you when you lower the pixel amount, it uh, leaves a little bit of the white there, which is common with the neon effect. And so then you flip down to Outer Glow, and you can uh, select a different color, such as maybe red this time, and make sure that it's solid red, and click OK. And this time we're going to change the blend mode to Hard Light again but you want to increase the size so that the glow spreads out into the rest of your design. 
and you can see that it glows and it gets that neon bright glow effect that you would expect and click OK and so now you have neat neon glow effect that's an outline of your text it's really interesting now if you wanted to clean this up a little bit and really make this a convincing like all-in-one effect then you might go in with your eraser and we'll zoom in I'm not going to do every one of these but I'll show you what you can do uh, you'll go in with your eraser tool and uh, lower the size and you can like let's say if you want to make this all one shape then you could erase areas of the white itself. You want to make sure to aim for the white areas and so you want to follow the contour of the of the white lines themselves not necessarily the glow because the glow will apply to whatever white line is left and so then you just go through and erase and so you get a more unified uh, shape here and so you can you can go in and refine it and maybe uh, take a, a little bit away a little bit by little bit and sort of round it out and that's how you create your custom neon glow effect well that's it for this week I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that um, I, if you want to see more videos and more tutorials and things like that on Photoshop, be sure to sign up for my newsletter on creativebeacon.com uh, forward slash sign up.